In today's video, I'm going to be installing a $20 LED kit for your interior lights, including your visors and all of the interior lights to make them nice, bright white. As you guys saw from the intro shot, today we're going to be installing more interior LEDs. Well, we're really just going to be replacing them with some brighter LEDs. Now, if you guys remember back on the channel a few videos ago, we replaced all of Christine's LEDs, the headlights, the interior lights with new ones, or where we replaced all the amber halogen ones with LEDs. See. Yep, Woo. it works. I'd say that's in. It's bright. Her LEDs are extremely bright, and the ones that I had in the truck, if you guys remember from the install, those LEDs were like three years old because I had them on my past 2018 truck and I was just adding them to this truck. So they were actually quite old and LED technology is literally like ever evolving. Like every year they're making brighter, better LEDs. So I decided to pick up another kit from Amazon. This one, I can't remember how much it costs. It's like super cheap, it's like 20 bucks or less. And it comes with a variety of LEDs for all your interior lights, including the ones on the visors, which I already have really good ones in there right now. Those ones are not the problem. It's the interior lights that they're just not as bright and one one of them started to flicker. So one of them started to flicker and that was it. I had to pull that one out and I need new LEDs. So I'm gonna walk you guys through in this video how you replace your interior lights, both the dome and the two front domes with LED bulbs or whatever bulb you need. So if you guys need to know how to get the bulbs out of the truck, this is the video for you guys. So let's jump on the inside of the truck and I'm gonna show you guys how we do this. So as I'm in the interior of the truck, I'm mostly lit by the sunlight from outside, which is kind of like overcast, but uh, these lights are nowhere near the brightest in the world. So let me let me here let me shut the garage door let's give you guys a good idea of how dimly lit this truck is all right guys so we're in the truck and if you guys cannot tell it's not that bright in here these uh, i mean i only have one here that works and uh it might look bright on video but i mean i do have black leather and the whole interior is black so it does hide a little bit but it's not the brightest in the world in here especially after we put the leds in christine's car these things are near dim when it comes to brightness and since that light over here started flickering it's time to replace it. So let me turn on this light. Woo! So now we have lights so I can show you guys how to replace these. So starting up here, this kit actually that's linked in the description down below comes with a nice little pry tool. And it's very simple to get these lights out. So what we're going to do is our, put our pry bar up here and pry down. And normally you can get your hand underneath here like this enough that you can just pop it out. It's just going to pop down practically like that. It literally just kind of pops down. There's these little clips on the back side. There's four of them. Uh, just gently pry and it will pry it down no problem and a lot of you guys might have remembered that from the last LED video But this one is specific to the interior So while this is dangling here how we get these bulbs out they're right here So these two little tabs right here are our bulbs and what we do is we just turn so we just turn this and it'll pop right out This one does not have a bulb right now because I took it out because it was flickering and then we can turn this one and pull it out as well So right there is the LED and I'll show you guys the ones I bought are like they have like eight of these on them So they're gonna be incredibly brighter so let's do a little comparison real quick of this led versus the new one so i got the new leds laid out right here and it actually comes with a spare so that's pretty cool to see so you have your two right here these are for our up front lights this one is our spare this one is going to go in the back dome and then these are for the mirrors so i already have ones in the mirrors right here and they are quite bright so we'll pull one of these off and see if the new ones are any brighter if they are we'll probably swap them out if not we'll just go with these these are pretty dang bright to start with so I'm not entirely sure I'm going to need to replace these, but we'll look into it. But if we take a second here and just look at what this LED is versus these, it's it's pretty clear the difference. This is what a $20 kit was three years ago. This is what a $20 kit was now. Look at all those LEDs. This thing is going to be incredibly bright, way brighter than this little one with two LEDs on it. So uh, let's go ahead and let's pop this in there. We'll pop one of the new ones in and leave the old one in the other side so we can see a difference of how bright they are. And then we'll move on to the back, or actually we'll start with the mirrors and then we'll move on to the back. So let's go check out how bright those are. So it's pretty easy to put the LEDs into these. So these are the little carriers that we pulled out right here. There's two slots and what we're gonna do is just slide the LED into those slots, just like that. And now we are good to install it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the old one in this slot again, so that way we have it. And let's go ahead and put them in. So again, it's pretty simple. This one's the old one, so I'm gonna leave it on the same side. So you just line up your holes here and twist it. And you guys can see right there, the LED came on on the other side. Right there is the old one. Now if I take the new one right here and we're gonna put it into this slot and turn it, and there is our new one. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see that on camera, but uh, this one on the right here is incredibly 
brighter. So that's the old one right there. You can kind of see the lens showing how it's not that bright. And this one, it just blows out the whole entire lens. So that is going to be the old one versus the new one. I will shut the lights off real quick and we'll get a little comparison as well. Now, if the lights turned off, it might be a little bit clearer of how much brighter this right one is. So um, this is the dimly lit driver's side with the old bulb. And this is how bright the, uh, the passenger side is. So there is the driver side with the old bulb, and this is the passenger side with the new bulb. It's a lot brighter. For reference, this is what I look like on the driver side. As you guys can tell, not as bright. It's not a huge difference, but it's definitely noticeable. So let's go ahead and let's change out the other bulb and then let's move to the back. So again, you're just taking the LED itself and just sliding into the slot and we are good to go. Both LEDs are now working on and off, good to go. One little pro tip, I didn't necessarily run into it with this light, but typically if you put in the LED and it doesn't turn on, all you need to do is flip it 180 degrees and it'll turn on. Most LEDs, um, they're like one way only when you put them in. These I think are two way, so they can literally go in either way. But yeah, if you run into to a case where you turn these on and they don't turn on or when you basically turn the switch on they don't turn on like this does flip the led 180 in the socket and it'll turn on but anyway that's that let's put it back up and then let's check out the mirrors so to put it back up this is going to be one-handed for me but uh all you need to do here is slide the front end up in so we're going to slide that up in you gotta watch those cables so we're going to slide the front end up in and then we're going to make sure it clips in here clip in clip in and clip in and there we go. Now the lights are on, nice and good to go. Nice and bright, all good. So the visors are actually a really easy thing to replace. So all you need to do is take, um, we can lift this up, but it's going to blind you guys. All you need to take is your pry tool and go on the bottom corner here and it will pop this right off. Again, I'm doing this one handed, so this is a little hard to do. Just take your pry tool underneath this ledge right here. You just need to get underneath this little ledge right here and it'll pop off. Let me get a tripod. So all you need to do is get underneath this bottom ledge here and literally just pop it with your pry tool pulls right out and then you can access the LED right behind it. So this is what the old LED looks like the, that I had in the last kit. This is what the new ones look like. So not entirely sure what's going one is going to be brighter here, but we're going to go ahead and pull this out and pop in the new one and see what happens. So to pull these out, it's very simple. Just take a pry tool, pry it out, and then you can normally just take your fingers, pull them out. So I'm going to pop this new one in. All you do is just slide it and pop it into place like so. And then we're going to test it. And as you can see here, it didn't turn on. And remember what I said, normally with these LEDs, if they don't turn on, all you need to do is pull them back out. So we're gonna pop it out, pop it out, flip it 180, put it back in, and it turns on. And whoa, okay, well, we don't have the shield on, so let's put the shield on. Let's see here. Um, I'm gonna say it's brighter. Let me turn off these backlights. Uh, looking at this, I would say that it's actually in impressive but the new ones are actually brighter looking at these um i do think the new ones are a little brighter but i would say that this is more of a warm tinge so this is more like probably like a 5000 kelvin this is more like 6500 kelvin for any of you guys that don't know uh the kelvin scale it's color temperature it's not actually like how bright so, some people in the past when we had like hid headlights there was like 10 10k hid headlights 10k did not was not brighter than 5k it was just the color temperature the color of white so like your 3000 kelvin is like warm white or soft white 5000 kelvin is more like what the old leds are that's really similar to what daylight is like sunlight color is and then 6500 kelvin that's like your pure white led like the really cool cool white that everyone tries to do with their leds that's the true led color so i'm actually going to go ahead because it's pretty quick and easy I'm gonna go ahead and swap out all of the uh, mirror lights for the brighter 6500 Kelvin or 6000 Kelvin LEDs, mostly because they are brighter and they'll be uniform with the other color temperature that we're going with in the truck. And that way I'm getting the most out of this kit, which is linked in the description down below. So far, love this kit. Anyways, let's go ahead and replace all the other mirror lights and then I'll show you guys how you replace the back dome light. So again, to take these off, all we're doing is just prying up on that bottom, pry out on the LED, quick and easy. That one's done. There we go. Really quick, really easy. Literally, these are like the easiest things ever to replace. Interior LEDs are really easy to start with. It's super easy to replace these mirror lights because it's literally just pop and play. That's good. That's good. These are good. We're all good. Anyways, let's move to the back dome light. So this is the original LED in the back dome light that I got in the original kit. And uh, we're going to be replacing it and see how much brighter the new ones are. So far, the new ones are brighter all the way around. Uh, but to remove this, there are two little slots. Not sure how well you guys can make them out. But there's two little slots. One right there and one right over here and what you need to do is get your pry tool in there and just pry the lens up and normally 
I'm not sure how well this pry tool is gonna work because it's really a thin gap. I'm not sure this pry tool is the best tool for the job, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get a small flathead screwdriver and use that instead. All right, so I went ahead to shut off the light because now you can see those indentations a little bit better. And I went ahead and got myself my handy dandy Harbor Freight flat nose uh, screwdriver right here. If you guys are not shopping at Harbor Freight or don't have one around you, I feel bad for you. Anyways, we're gonna take our flat nose and just put it right into that slot there. And then we're just gonna pry. Just like that. Then we're gonna go to the other one, and the lens will probably fall after I do this, or it won't, cool. So you just pry it back, and then you can just pull the lens cover right off. Then inside there, we can see the LED that I had originally in there. And the way you remove these LEDs, there's actually a clamp. There's a lever on this side, and you just push that lever, and the, the light falls right out. Anyways, you guys see that there is a lever on this side, and then there's a slot on this side. So you just push on this lever right here, push on this lever, and the light falls right out. So let's go ahead and get the new one and see what it looks like. Little quick comparison here. This is the old one. This is the new one. I'm gonna be kind of impressed that this one's brighter because these are these are bigger. This one's bigger. It's got six big ones, and this one's got a bunch of little ones. But we shall see. This is the newer LED technology. This is the old technology. So let's see. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put my LED in the right here, and actually I'm just gonna verify it works first. I don't think that's the correct way. I'm gonna flip it 180, and there we go. Just turn it on to make sure it works and we are good to go. I'm not entirely sure how much brighter this one is or even if it is brighter than the last one. Honestly, this new LED up here looks literally about the same as the last one. Again, this is one of those that if it doesn't work, flip it 180 and put it in. But now all we do to put this on, we're gonna slide it into the back. So slide it up into the back there. Make sure it's nice and snug on the back and then you're just gonna pop it in the front up in on either side and there you go i'm gonna put that on door turn the light on and you're good to go that right there is the last of the interior lights and there you guys have it the brand new 2021 led light kit that you can buy off amazon for like 20 bucks i do think it is quite brighter especially in the front these front leds up here are definitely a lot brighter than the previous ones i mean we saw the bulbs themselves they're a lot brighter it'll be a lot nicer these visors they're also brighter they're all uniform led temperature which is nice to see and like i mentioned if you guys have already put an led kit Kit in your truck like if you did what I did back in 2018 and bought a cheap LED kit for like 20 bucks on Amazon put it in your truck uh, LED technology has evolved quite rapidly and like it gets better every single year so if you're looking around in your truck and it's like not the brightest in the world like it's a nice cool white but you want brighter LEDs trust me check these out they're linked in the description down below newer LED technology is a lot brighter for a small form factor the more light you have the better you can see everything at night the better you can see where your stuff is if it falls underneath your seats etc especially if you got a black interior like mine it's really hard to see at night so anyways guys like I said this is a super easy installation that any of you can do and I highly recommend it if you got a Tacoma out there and you haven't done this already what are you waiting for those old school filament bulbs that come in these trucks stock get rid of them it's like 20 bucks and you can get all brand new leds in your truck the link is in the description down below and this kit includes the little pry tool that you need to get underneath all these things and then all you need is a small straight screwdriver to do the backlight back there like i said you guys seen it it's super easy, super quick to do. So if you did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, I've already done this before, but this was just kind of showing that the new LED technology is a lot better and it's a lot brighter. So slap the like button, hit the subscribe button because we got more videos coming. I may or may have not placed an order for an exhaust system for the truck. What system do you guys think I bought in the comments down below? Leave a comment. If you guys got any suggestions for future mods for the truck, leave them down in the comment section down below as well. But anyways, guys, talk to Rick out. Peace.